A little hello and lots of love to start the day, my fifth and fab grade 7 learners. Welcome to Valenzuela Live, another fun field learning and discovering the world of education. Introduction to Dual Sports Table Tennis. I am a Mary Ann C. Barrios from Dalandana National High School, your learning body in PE. To join us today, kindly key in in the comment box the word present, the name of your school, your grade level, and section, just like what you can see on the screen. How are you today? I hope you are all safe and healthy. Are you excited for our lesson? That's great! To begin with, let us be reminded of the protocols to follow during the live streaming class. Number one, respect everyone. Number two, no hate speech. Number three, be guided with the anti-cyber bullying law. Number four, no promotions of products or items. And lastly, use appropriate words in giving suggestions comments, and queries. After the Facebook live streaming, attend the class discussion via Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or Facebook Messenger Classroom with your subject teacher. I hope everyone will be guided by these protocols for us to maintain orderliness during the virtual class. Now, allow me to read to you the most essential learning competencies that you are about to learn today. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Number 1. Describe the nature and background of the sports, table tennis. Number 2. Execute the skills involved in the sport, table tennis. In the previous lesson, you have learned about physical fitness assessment, as well as individual sports such as running, and gymnastics. You have also learned about the skills, nature, and background of the said sports. What kind of sports are you involved in right now? What keeps you going? Are you doing it to improve your skills or just wanted to be physically fit? All right. Sport participation may be due to many reasons. Number one, for recreation and enjoyment. Number two, to discover, improve, and execute the skills and talents in the sports you like. And lastly, to engage for benefits that will do to our health. For you to become familiar with more serious sports participation, this episode will help you to make concrete steps in being more physically fit. However, modification will be made to suit participation in dual sports. Monitoring of your physical fitness level will also be done as you participate in dual sports. So, get ready. Be involved in your own personal fitness through dual sports table tennis. Are you ready to learn more? I know you are. We will be having three activity games based on the hit Korean movie, Squid Game. Let us have our first activity entitled Green Light, Red Light. Identify which of the following scores is individual or dual. Key in Green Light on the comment section if your answer is individual sport. And Red Light if it is dual sport. You will be given 5 seconds to answer. Number 1. Bowling. Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is... Correct. Green light. Individual sport. Good job. Next number. Number 2. Table tennis. Timer starts now. I miss up. The answer is nice. Red light. Dual sport. Number three. Badminton. Timer starts now.
Time is up. The answer is awesome. Red light for dual sport. Number four. Weightlifting. Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is great. Green light, individual sport. And last number, number five, tennis. Timer starts now. Time is up. What's your answer? Cool. The answer is red light, dual sport. How many items were you able to answer correctly? All right. What a job well done. You got your first trophy. Collect all four trophies today up to the end of our class. Remember to do warm up and cool down before and after you engage in this sport. This is good for your performance. You'll do better, faster, and stronger. Cooling down after you play allow you to gradual recovery of free exercise heart rate and blood pressure. Monitoring your heart rate during playing sport is important to gauge your fitness progress. Doing this will help you achieve your desired fitness goals. As the Government Pandemic Task Force implemented the COVID-19 alert level system, for most of the country, we know that here in Metro Manila and most areas in the Philippines are under a more relaxed alert level 2 quarantine classification. This includes participation in various sports such as volleyball, basketball, and badminton. Meaning, recreational venues, fitness studios, gyms, and venues for individual non-contact exercise and sports are allowed to operate or to be taken at the maximum of 50% in their venue and 70% out their venue capacity provided that the workers of the said establishments are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. However, learners, please be reminded not to be complacent and continue observing minimum public health standards as you engage in the sports and other activities that could lead to another surge in cases. Have you ever been involved in any sports? Individual sports or dual sports? All right! Sports is about organizing collective efforts and performance. Sport is about managing excellence, coaching and developing tactics, as well as strategies. The main difference between individual sports and dual sport is the number of athletes who compete on the same side. Individual sports are defined as activities in which competing as a part of a team isn't required. Compared to individual sports, there are as many dual sports out there, but dual sports can take several different forms. In one of the form of dual sports, a single athlete competes against another single athlete. There's no team, just the two athletes against each other in one-on-one -on -one match. Dual sports can also involve two athletes on the same team, competing with two athletes of the opposite team, known as two-on-two. -two. Dear learners, we will move on to our activity game. Since you did well in the previous activity, do you want to find out what in store for the next level? Let's do the honeycomb shape guessing. Read carefully each statement and choose the letter of outline shape that corresponds the best answer. Type in the letter of your choice on the comment section. You will be given 5 seconds to answer. Are you ready? Let's start. Number 1. It is also called as ping pong 
and similar principle to lawn tennis? Is it A, badminton, B, tennis, C, table tennis, or D, volleyball? Timer starts now. Time is up. What's your answer? Very good. The answer is letter C, table tennis. Number two. It is a stroke that starts a rally. Is it A, serve, B, block, C, drive, or D, juice? Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is... Nice! Letter A, serve. Number three. The table tennis blank is important because it controls the angle of the rocket, paddle, or bat. Is it A, point, B, push, C, block, B, grip? Timer starts now. Time is up. What's your answer? Excellent. The answer is letter D, grip. Number four. An equipment that is placed at the center, dividing the table into two equal halves. Is it A, table, B, net, C, ball, or D, paddle or rocket? Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is... Good job! Letter B, net. Did you get all the correct answers? Excellent! You earned your second trophy. Well done, learners! Table tennis requires mental strength as well as physical skills to beat your opponent. Players can put extreme spin on the ball to make it difficult to predict or return, or can try to maneuver their opponent around the table, hoping to open up a point-winning opportunity. But the real joy of the game isn't simplicity, requiring a very little in the way of equipment, meaning it is very accessible for it. The objective of this game is to hit the ball so that it goes over the net and bounces on the opponent's half of the table. Table tennis can be traced back to Victorian England as form of after-dinner amusement for upper-class Victorian in the 1880s. Everyday objects were used, booked as a net, knot of a string as a ball, and cigar box lead as the bag. The popularity of the fast time lead gave manufacturer to sell the equipment commercially. The sound generated in the play was what gave the sport its name ping pong, was in wide use before British manufacturer J. Jack and Son Limited in 1901. Around the turn of 20th century, celluloid balls or paddles were introduced to the game, and by 1927, London held the first ever official world championships. The International Table Tennis Federation, or ITTF, governs the sport. Table tennis was granted Olympic sports status in 1988. The sport is now dominated by Asian countries such as China and Korea. Can you help me to identify equipments used in table tennis? Great! Type your answer in the comment section. You will have 5 seconds to answer. Let's begin! First equipment. Timer starts now. Be in your answer in the comment box. Time is up!
Very good. The answer is table. Nine feet long, five feet wide, and must be placed 30 inches above the ground. Next equipment. Timer starts now. Miss up. The answer is... Very good. The answer is net. Six feet long and six inches wide, and it should have an upper white tape that is not more than 15 millimeter wide. Next equipment. Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is... Very good. Paddle or rocket. It is used to hit the ball back and forth on the table. Next equipment. Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is... Good job! Ball. It is a small celluloid ball that is white or orange in color. It weighs 2.7 grams. Well done, learners! After knowing the nature and background of the sport table tennis, let us discuss the skills that involves in it. The table tennis grip is important because it controls the angle of the rocket, paddle, or bat. The first fundamental table tennis skills you need to learn is the correct grip. There are two main grips in the table tennis, pen hold and shake hand. The pen hold grip is a traditional Asian grip where the bat or paddle is held like a pen between the thumb and the index finger. The pen hold grip has some advantages. It allows for more wrist movement and therefore more spin, but it is also more difficult to learn. Next type of grip is the shake hand grip. In this grip, the head of the rocket faces up and your hand looks like it's ready to shake the person's hand. Now let's talk about the strokes used in table tennis. The table tennis serve is the most important stroke in the game because it provides the only situation in which you have total control over how and where you play the ball. Next is receive. Receive is a stroke to reply a serve. Stroke is push. Push is a short stroke wherein the paddle is moved in slight horizontal play. The forehand and backhand push are defensive strokes using backspin to make it hard for your opponent to attack. It is usually played against the short and low backspin or float balls. Next is block. The forehand and backhand block in the table tennis are more defensive shots. It is used to control incoming speed and spin shots from your opponent. Block is a short stroke wherein the pass Paddle is positioned slightly vertical. Next is drive. Drive is a short stroke wherein the paddle is moved forward and upward at an angle, striking the ball to spin in part top spin. A forehand and backhand drive in the table tennis are offensive strokes, used to force error and to set up attacking positions. A successful shot should land close to your opponent's baseline or sideline. After understanding the skills in the table tennis, can you execute some table tennis grip and stroke? Great! 
All you have to do is follow and imitate the strokes shown in the video clip. If you don't have paddle or rocket, look for a thing that resembles like a rocket. It could be a small bottle of water, light plastic, shopping board, or a clean slipper. You will be given 10 seconds to do each stroke. Are you ready? Let's begin! Catch your paddle and keep moving. Number one. Shake hand grip. Timer starts now. Very good. Next. Pen hold grip. Timer starts now. Time is up. Nice. Now, try to do the forehand drive. Timer starts now. Time is up. Very good. And lastly, do the backhand drive. Timer starts now. Double the learners. What an amazing experience, right? You got your third trophy. Fantastic! Table tennis requires mental health as well as physical skills to beat your opponent. It is entertaining, fun, fast, and has great health benefits as well. When played regularly, it improves your reflexes, hand and eye coordination, and balance, while toning and strengthening the core muscles of the upper and lower body. It is also a great cardiovascular exercise and aerobic workout. Table tennis is also a great mental workout. You have to plan strategies and decide what spin to put on the ball, while trying to stay one step ahead of your opponent and react to the shots they are playing all the same time. It is also a sport that is good for social bonding and can be enjoyed by people of all ages. It can also be played at home as a great way to spend more quality time together and bring the family closer in. Let's proceed to our last activity game. Let us see if you really listened and that you understood our topic today about introduction to dual sport, table tennis. I am sure you have heard the marble game. In 5 seconds, unlock the mystery words or word by arranging the letters behind each marble. Are you up for the challenge? I'm sure you are. Key in your answer on the comment section. Let's play the marble game. Number one, the first fundamental table tennis skill you need to learn is the correct blank. Let's reveal the letters behind those marbles. R, I, G, P. Timer starts now. Time is up. Correct. The answer is grip. Next number. Number two. This is a traditional Asian grip where the bat or paddle is held like a pen between the thumb and the index finger. Let's reveal the letters behind those marbles. E H N L D P O Timer starts now. Time is up! Your 
right. The answer is penhole. Good work. Next number, number three. It is a stroke that starts a rally. Let's reveal the letters behind those marbles. E, E, V, S, R. Timer starts now. Time is up. Absolutely. The answer is sir. Terrific. Number four. It is also known as ping pong, a sport in which two or four players hit a lightweight ball back and forth across a table using a small paddle or rocket. Let's reveal the letters behind those marbles. N, A, S, T, I, N, E, T, D, L, E. Timer starts now. Time is up. If you answer table tennis, that's correct. Excellent. Number five. It is a short stroke wherein the racket is moved in a slight horizontal plane, striking the ball on the bottom portion of the rocket. Let's reveal the letters behind those marbles. H S P U Timer starts now. Time is up. Exactly. The answer is push. Good one. Last number. Number six. It is a stroke to reply to a serve. Let's reveal the letters behind those marbles. E. V. I. C. E. E. R. Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is receive. Nice one. Those were awesome learners. You just earned the fourth and the last trophy. Congratulations. Well, I know that there are questions that are not yet answered about today's discussion. But don't worry, your MAPI teacher will be willing to address them during your follow-up discussion tomorrow. I hope you learned something today. Your participation is highly appreciated. I am looking forward to seeing you next time. Again, I am Mary Ann C. Barrios from Dalandana National High School, your learning buddy in PE. Reminding you not to be complacent and continue observing minimum public health standards as you engage in sports and other activities. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.